didn't add a flat iron, and this is my final project wrapped card for mod 5. The concept of the site is similar to Instacart, where we can order groceries online and get a delivery from a private shoppers. Um, I actually used Wigman's API that also been used by Instacart to access information about available stores and their products. In the home page, we have a carousel slider implemented with the React Owl carousel library. From the home page, visitors go to the store page to get an overview of all available stores. So, clicking there. We have a card um, group that displays the store's picture and their um, location. Um, but for convenience, visitors are asked to set their location by clicking the store by location feature. So if I go up and I click on local stores, uh, a model will pop up where the visitors, um, they ask to enter their zip code. Enter it. Um, we see that we have a filter based on the store's location. We select a local store that nearest to us. And that will take us actually to an individual um, store um, shopping. And once we click, we are brought to this details um, where there is actually a uh, bread cram banner shows us the store's name. Um, so we know where we are currently shopping from. Also, we notice the search bar um, popping up that allows us to directly find products. And below, we are given a card group of all main categories that represent the uh, aisles we can shop products. So if we click on a main category, let's say other departments, it will take us to um, the subcategories of a given category. We can descend again by clicking on the next subcategory to shop from. We are then recursively taken to the subcategory of the subcategory and so um, on. We are um, now finally reaching the bottom category that contains all products of that match um, criteria. And this is the product uh, overview by category. We are given a card group again with all products in category. We can hover over any of those products. And we can add products by clicking on add to card that um, icon. And if we go up again, if we looked at our um, card bag, it will contain that product. And from there, I could just view my card or I go direct to the checkout. If I go to the view card, it will take me to the um, card page where there I have my product. So I could increase the amount of the product and that quantity will be um, increasing my price as well and it will also shows that update in my cart. Also if we back to um, to other and other stores we could actually have um, to shop from there. We have the feature where we could actually search for um, a specific product that we don't know um, which store is located. Um, so I will try with chicken. And that will give me all the products that related to that um, search term I have entered. I could select also the products and might add some to my wish list for a next order. And also, there is an awesome feature where I can click on the uh, scanner where there is some of the products that we have them and we don't know the basic name of them. So by clicking on that model box, I will do have um, the camera open in my model box where I could um, put, I just selected a tissue box where I could um, 
it being scanned for me and it will directly take me to um, that um, product and from there I will be adding uh, I will be at that product or as well adding it for my wish list if I go back to my cart I will find that item been added I will go view my cart I will proceed to check out and for the checkout, I must be registered to be able to have my address. So I do have the feature for login and register. Let's register an account. Com. Password and password information. And it will say user created. I will log in with my um, email and I will log in and by that it will show me that I log in showing me the logout and also I do have my items still over there because I say it's been saved in the um, storage so even the guests will be able to be shopping and then they will be um, actually redirected to um, register. And once I'm done, I could fill the um, information for billing address. Um, first name, smile. And add an, an email. And from there, I will can I can place the order. And placing the order will actually take me to the page of the deliveries where it confirms for me my orders and it will save for me the orders. And by seeing that, the total price for me is 28 and all these items are or um, are listed over there. I could try for another order. for another store um, you go to bakery and selecting any items that I need to add to my card I'll select randomly and the same will be um, added to my cart to the previous ones that if I want to um, to delete them I might keep that and add in extras and then by proceeding to the checkout also it will take me there while I already have my address, I will just place the order and it will be um, taking me again to the order number two, which shows me the total and the, um, the details of that order. Um, the register and login feature actually um, is uh, secured for the back end and the front end. Um, we now saw the basic functionality of the site as implemented in a, like a two weeks project. The full logic of a web shop, especially payment process and user dashboard is highly complex. And I have mentioned um, a two um, blogs that um, the Instacart developers been through when they actually been started. Um, and it will explain actually the Instacart design based on React uh, that they also using the same API for product search and selection that them started with a similar basic dashboard functionality and took many years actually of development to evolve into a fully interactive online shopping experience um, with a dashboard functionality that um, allows the, the customers um, to have um, a fully functional website. Um, there is also an abundance of open source software made available by Instacart. 
um, if you go if you go to their website, they encourage developers to improve the shopping experience of customers. But however, um, never real time information about grocery store product is still rare, and there are not many uh, unified uh, APIs to request data from. Um, especially across different brands and main factories. It is a field that still requires um, a lot of development effort and it has a strong increase uh, in popularity at the moment. Um, I hope I could give you a quick overview of the basic design of grocery shopping website and the challenge, challenge, challenges that um, I've been through to implement the site, but in general, it can be noted that the um, logic of web shops is very complex. Even if most of the functionality looks rather basic um, on the first site, but there are usually many relationships between the stores, products, order, and different prices and the stocks amount per each store. Here, I also had in my Trello. Um, the starting database um, relationship between the models um, for um, like um, for for my database um, and actually the data that I fetched is nothing compared to all the products and stores been in the Wigman's. Um, I just got um, a really huge sample, but it's still not compared to um, the real data. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you.